Chris Fields with oh, the first run of the day. Away from the Cooper Park line as he gets over the run. Oh, Billy Harris hit by Herman Retzlaff. Oh, a shot. A Hermanator. Shot. It's to come up the left with pain. Helmet up and then a huge tackle. He gets it. Oh! Welcome to Santa Claus. Jeff Moses on the calendar. YouTube is cliche, so we're here at Langlands Park. Let's go! KBC! KFC! KFC! Yo! Let's see what we can handle. Hey! Hey, Ra! No, actually, let's go. Great time. Yeah, we're here with uh, Woody. Mate, how do you feel? We're about T minus one hour and ten minutes since the game. How do you feel? What? We're about an hour and ten before the game. Oh, yeah. How are you mate, feeling? Mate, I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Get my mind in the right spot. Get my right spot. Just prepare mentally. And I'm keen. Okay. It's amazing, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'm here with uh, Lucky, mate. How are we eight minutes actually to the game now? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm keen, mate. I'm excited. You know, the boys have prepared well. <laughs> I'm here with our home ball, wrecking ball. Is that Milwaukee? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Bull by now, 44, level time 8. Trey, how do you feel? About two hours into the ball kickoff. How do you feel, mate? The camera's pleased. Let's see with an old boy. Okay, okay, bro. Today we have Seth Nicotine Lockham. Lachlan West. Lockie Adamson. Blake Bloody Mozart. Knees. Hey, FC. Best wide receiver in the league. Julio, Julio. Julio? He said Julio. No. no. He said me. Me. Go, 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 go. Looking back to the shirts. About to get strapped. Bring it back in second. All right. You're right back. Hello. Oh, bet, 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 bet. How are you? What are your thoughts pre-game? Uh, pretty good. We are um, preparing well. Yeah. I bet. Look on West, passing the ball pre-game. How do you feel about today's game? Good. Good buddy. Good yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Connor Takani here. This is the way I'm looking at it. We're playing darts a week and the dart ball games we've won every week. I have four throws for each quarter of the game, even though it's not So 
I throw, if I get over 40, we win that quarter. So I go, we won the first one, won the second one, and they came back, and we won the other two, so it should be right. I think the thing's like, oh, is that bloke there? That's like, you want to send me something? Oh, he's there, he's over sat down, oh, he's not there, oh, I can't sleep at night. So. But after this, I'll be feeling good. It'll be KFC all round. occasion here at Totally Workwear Stadium today as we welcome you to the first ever Alan Langer Trophy Grand Final in its 20th edition. Palm Beach Corumban up against Kebra Park. Of course this is the first ever season that we've had a Grand Final and what a spectacle we have. Two great rivals, there's nothing much separating them. Let's have a look how they both line up this afternoon for the 2020 Alan Langer Trophy Grand Final. We'll start with Palm Beach Corumban, the defending champions going for three in a row this afternoon. DeGroote at fullback, Robertson Duckett on the wings, Somerville and Mariner in the centres, Rivet and Weaver are the halves, Russell's the lock forward, Butterini and Priestley in the back row, Willison the captain alongside Jack Cullen in the front row, Uta Bergen is the hooker. On the bench, Oscar Bryant, Bailey Martin, Caden Somerville, Ryan Foran, and also Parker Bryant. They're coached by Jim Francis. They are the defending champions, Palm Beach, Corumban. But standing in their way this afternoon are Kebra Park, who are the only side to have won three in a row, something Palm Beach, Corumban are going for today. Let's have a look at Kebra's lineup. Khan Pereira at fullback. Levi Jones, the competition's leading try scorer on one wing alongside captain Trey Penny on the other wing. Buller and Cleese Haas in the centres. Talia and Takani in the halves. Gun James is a lock forward. Borg and Wood in the back row. Mata Lavia, Booth and Tofeano in the front row. Adamson at hooker on the bench. Moza, Alaparki, Jake Parker, Seth Nicotimo, Lockie West, Logan Lewis and PJ Patazzi. They're coached by Glenn Campbell. David Wright in the commentary box alongside myself. It doesn't get much bigger than this. The first ever Alan Langer Trophy Grand Final to be played by both sides that know each other so well. Yeah, and they're very similar sides too, uh, Drury, and that's why I think we're going to have a hell of a contest here this afternoon. The Forge, I think, will pretty much cancel themselves out, but they've got some great uh, back lines to uh, take advantage of that. I love the halves at Palm Beach in Ryan uh, Rivet and Tom Weaver. They were terrific in the semi-final last week. And then the halves for Kebra in Dave Talia, his kicking game and passing game was also top shelf. And then Connor... Uh, Takani at, uh, at halfback for Kibra. So the two sets of halves, I think, will decide uh, the, the winner here this afternoon. A grand final. You never, ever forget your grand finals. They're very hard to make, no matter what level you're at. 
and he is a great uh, cheer squad for the Palm Beach Currumbin boys. Yes, of course, the coach for Palm Beach Currumbin is Brad Davis, former Palm Beach Currumbin player himself. Brad Davis is the coach for Palm Beach Currumbin. And here they come, Davis's troops, the defending champions. Two old foes in this one going head to head in what is the biggest rivalry in Queensland schoolboy rugby league. Palm Beach from the south, founded in 1972. Only one year later, Keeper Park in the north in Southport, founded in 1973. And Keeper coach Glenn Campbell said recently that Palm Beach and Keeper is his favourite day of the year, bar none, including Christmas. Well, here they come, the Keeper Park side, running onto the field, led by Captain Trey Penny. Now, Keeper Park and Palm Beach Corumban going head to head here. In what is a fairy tale grand final, as we mentioned, the first ever grand final played in the Alan Langer Trophy. And Kibra taking the field here. They will be kicking off with Palm Beach Corumban receiving. Stay behind! For Kibra. And we're underway here in the first ever Alan Langer Trophy grand final. And Dave Talia kicks it out on the full. He perched that up very high and went for a high kick. Once you hook it like that, you're going to be. Uh, in danger of going out in the full. That's a big mistake. And this looks like we've got a problem with the football, maybe not properly inflated. That's been uh, disposed of, and we'll uh, have now Palm Beach Corumban with a penalty right on halfway to effectively start the match. It's a very good afternoon to our sideline commentator this afternoon, Cam Stellard. Good afternoon, Cam. What are the conditions like down there? Great right here, an absolute pleasure to bring this historic event in the Alan Langer Trophy right now. 21 degrees and the temperature is dropping as the sun sets. A little bit breezy uh, as opposed to what we saw in the Kevin Walters Cup at the moment. Uh, the breeze heading towards from the left to right of your screens this afternoon at about 10 k's an hour. Thank you, Cam. So Palm Beach Corumban now. It was Willison who played it earlier, the captain, and now up to the 10 metre line. As we see a penalty played there by Butterini. They're going to take the tap after interference in the play the ball. So Palm Beach Corumban through Willison the 10. Contracted to the Brisbane Broncos is Willison. Rivet goes short to Cullen. What a dream start this would be for Palm Beach Corumban. The hooker, Uta Bergen, goes across field through the halves. Rivet, Weaver, and here's Butterini. Butterini is over for Palm Beach Corumban. And Tom Weaver, the halfback, moves in and strikes it. And unsuccessful, of course, Tom Weaver was named in the Courier Mail Team of the Year at half, as was Ryan Rivet. He's uh, partner in crime there, but it's Palm Beach Corumban who score first. Let's go down the sideline. Cam Stellard. Drew, you mentioned it was a dream start for Palm Beach Corumban. A little bit out of the ordinary as well. I think the winner of this match will be the team that plays for the full 60 minutes. If we have a look at the Alan Langer Trophy season, Kiba Park have had really strong first half, but have really had ordinary second half, whereas Palm Beach have been completely the opposite. have had a slow start in the opening 30, but have really put the foot down to finish the game. Well, interestingly, you say that uh, Cam Stella there on the sideline. Keeper coach Glenn Campbell said during the week on the school footy show, David Wright, that he thinks this game will be won and lost in the ruck. What do you think? Yeah, well, you've got to control that ruck. You've got to be able to dominate the ruck. I think both sides are very strong in the forwards. I think they'll pretty much nullify each other there. Critical part of the game. Once you get that standoff there, then the backs need to uh, take over. Charge down. Yes, Weaver's kick was charged down and Keeper come away with it. Leighton Borg it was. So Keeper with some possession finally and they get a penalty all of a sudden. So here's uh, Keeper's first good opportunity to go on the attack. So tap and go and this is Herman Tofeano. Perhaps a little unlucky not to make that team of the year. And Keeper Park will... They finished the regular season, Kibra, with the best attack in the competition. More points scored. We know they're capable of scoring tries. Tofeano again. Takani. Here's a backline play again. They're so good at this. Captain 
Trey Penny responds and Keeper Parker over. What a great team try. The coach should be grinning from ear to ear, Glenn Campbell. Beautiful setup play. Both sides have got great back lines that can uh, take advantage of any lapse in the defence. And that line run there by uh, Trey Penny, he might be playing uh, on the uh, right wing, but he's come across here to make an extra man. Have a look at this. That's the right winger running there. So that's beautiful play there. He's taken him off the right wing. They had the penalty. They were able to set up for the play. The halfback, he's had a stellar season. He moves in and strikes it nicely. Just waved away. So for all the score, as we have a look at the try again here, David Wright and Takani just holding it up nicely. You had Khan Pereira lined up. Jareen Buller, they were all there. It's which one you choose? Um, Carney, I should say. And uh, he sets up that try beautifully. And that's a big kickoff from Palm Beach. Karam, and in fact, it's too big. It's gone out on the full. In fact, it's almost gone into the East Leagues Club, David Wright. It has. The adrenaline is running at a high pitch. They've got young kids here playing in grand finals. They're so keen. I'm sure Dave Talia will be feeling a little bit better now as Kibra with the penalty. Let's head down to the sideline. Cameron Stallard, the community content producer with the QRL. What do you got for his camp? Just going back to that previous try, Kibra Park there. Like good music, uh, they're good, like good magicians where they don't show all their tricks in the one sitting. Last week we saw that set play take place where it was Connor Takani, Takam Pereira and of course Levi Jones who scored three tries last week. This week they've added another piece to the puzzle, Trey Penny coming from that right wing to ice the magic for Kiba Park to score there first. As we see an intercept there from the Troy Duckett there from Palm Beach. Crumb, you're absolutely spot on, Cam. You're spot on. It was uh, Trey Penny coming from the other wing. And yes, the usual suspects were lined up, but it was the little inside floater, wasn't it, with Penny coming through. And they are just so dangerous. But fortunately for Palm Beach, Karam, and they've turned it over. Here's Jotham Russell taking it well into Keeper territory. Rivet, dummies. Tries to break the line. Can't do so. Good metres. There's Uda Bergen there at dummy half, and it takes a few to get Willison down to the ground. The number, in fact, it was uh, the 13, Jotham Russell with his second hit up. Here's a little kick through by Weaver. And fortunately for Kibra, players there to save the day. Was it Trey Penny, the captain? All sides these days do a lot of video analysis. You can bet these two sides have done the same because last week Weaver was uh, grubber kicking in the in-goal area, putting pressure on. But good work by Keeper. They able to turn. The kick was a good one. Got in behind the defensive line. The quick turn and chase there by uh, Trey Penny saves the day. But it's a goal on dropout. Well, what an entertaining start to this one. Opening 10 minutes, of course, we play 30-minute halves at this level. And here's Brock Priestley. Another one who's had an outstanding season in 2020. Uta Bergen from dummy half for Palm Beach, Corumban. Seven to four. Eight, make one. Hold. Go, two. Reef Somerville, the centre. Rivet. And here's Xavier Willison, the captain, who is yet to lose to Kibra in his career. Xavier Willison, he's played Kibra for three wins. And a lovely pass out to Troy Duckett and Palm Beach, Corumban have scored yet again. It's tit for tat here in the grand final, but what a lovely pass. The defence was just one or two down. Have a look at it. Weaver, he doesn't pass immediately. Takes a couple of paces and then bang, over the top. Could see they were short out there. The pass out there to uh, Duckett, who's scored plenty this year. Here is the man with that try assist, Weaver, to add the extras. And it is a... Wonderful kick. So 10 points to four, Palm Beach Corumban lead. As we have a look at the replay here, Weaver and just lovely pass over the top. Cut out pass, finds his winger. Athleticism, he's got a great motor and a good young kid. Well, it's try for try here in the opening 12 and a half. Palm Beach Corumban, the defending champions lead 10-4. 2020 Allen Langer Trophy Grand Final. 
And here's Willison. Xavier Willison, the captain today, of course. Palm Beach Crumbers regular captain, Damon Somerville, ruled out with that knee injury. Season ending. That was early in the piece too, I think. So it was might have even been first or second game. And here's Weaver with the dummy. Of course, Palm Beach Crumman looking for their third title in a row. Something Keeper has achieved. And the winner today will be the first to nine Alan Langer Trophy finals in this 20th edition. The first time we've had a grand final and there's a high kick on the last and well taken there at the back by Levi Jones, the competition's leading try scorer. That's a great take by Jones. Very high kick floating around. The lights are just starting to take over here at Totally Workwear Stadium, so it wasn't real uh, easy for him. Well done. And there's the keeper, number three, Jareen Buller, who's third on that try scorer list. Struggled to his feet too, Buller. He played by captain Trey Penny. He's already got a try for himself, and that kick on the last is out on the full. So it'll come back to near the 40-metre line and a gift-wrapped opportunity for Palm Beach Corumba. Making it back 13. So Daniel Butterini with the footy will start the set. Here's Xavier Willison. He's got some pace for a big man. Signed by the Brisbane Broncos. Here's Cullen. He's been a bit of an unsung hero in 2020 for PBC. Has Jack Cullen. Represented New South Wales country in under 16s. Reef Somerville now. Another New South Wales under 16 representative. As they go centre field, rivet out to Weaver. Inside pass here to Butterini. Uta Bergen, rivet. Cut out pass to the winger. And try time, Michael Roberts. In fact, they've called it forward. The pass has been ruled to have gone forward. Have a look at the replay here. It wasn't a lot in it, but probably the right call there. Six from seven for Kiva Park. It's a completely different story in the six sets they've had. They've only completed two of them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kiva with an error straight off the start of the set of six, and it looks like it was the number 12, Leighton Borg. Yeah, you can't afford to do it. You give a good sides opportunities. There's the scrum being packed, the replay. Really no pressure there, although... The pass wasn't needed to be thrown. There was some pressure coming up with the defenders. So, Palm Beach Corumban, only 10 metres out. Rivet. Dummies to Priestley, goes himself. Five metres out. And this time, they find Priestley to play it. And here's Cullen. Looking for back-to-back -back oh, tries here. Sorry. The defending champions. Uta Bergen, Weaver. They spread it wide, and this is Mariner. Another player who's had an outstanding 2020 campaign. From dummy half goes Uta Bergen. Last tackle. Uta Bergen, a little ginger to get to his feet. Weaver, little grubber in behind, but Levi Jones... We'll take that one for Kibra. And Palm Beach Corumban looking to keep them right where they are, Kibra Park. Oh, Forward pass again. He was in good position to cover that little grubber kick. Had to come in from his wing a long way in. But they've uh, handed over possession again. Well, you can't keep doing it. Than any other school. And Palm Beach Corumban looking for their third in a row. Undefeated in 2020. There's only four points in their match earlier this year. Here's Cullen for Palm Beach Corumban. Driving legs towards the line. And Olivia Booth and Co. there to wrap him up. Uta Bergen. And there's a knock on there by Weaver. Double knock on, in fact. But you're absolutely right, David. Keeper good enough to defend. Yeah, they did well. It's got to go out to Weaver. Long ball, just had to reach forward for it. They were lucky it wasn't picked up on the run. 
And if you remember, Drew, the last time they got to the end of the set of six, they put it out on the full. You, your six is only as good as the finish of it. Good defence, Palm Beach. Huge defence. There was Jotham Russell and also Rivet. And there is a much-needed penalty. Yes, relief. Yep, he wanted to capitalise there. I think Kiba would be, uh, they've, they'd be pretty happy the fact they got out of that without, a, without extra points. Keeper Park here with their 11. Kobe Wood up to halfway, tackle one. So Keeper with the roll on now. Good run. Huge run, wasn't it? Big run there. I think it was uh, Alaparki. Yarel Alaparki. And here it is with Tyrone Gunn, James the 13. Wrapped up by Willison, Russell, and also Butterini in the tackle. Here's Takani inside to Alaparki. Palm Beach Karumban up to the task. Bailey Martin in there as well. Debut as a 16-year-old. Here they go, Kibra. That's Wood. Last tackle as they line up to the right. We know how dangerous they are. Here they go again, Takani. And there's Dave Talia with a little kick there. Bouncing ball. And in the end, they were, okay. they were good enough there, Palm Beach Karumban. And that was the fullback to Groot. Yeah, good effort there by uh, Kieber to get it the length of the field. Now they've got Palm Beach on the back foot with a chance to force an error down here. There's Willison. And on is Oscar Bryant. There he is for Palm Beach Corumban. We've seen him come on for Uda Bergen quite regularly in the first half with great results. And there's an early kick. From Ryan Rivet and wonderfully taken there by Tavali Khan Pereira. Ooh. Well, it was awkward. I don't think there was a lot of intent in the tacklers. It was almost a, an imbalance of. Uh... So just over seven and a half minutes remaining here in this first half. Of course, 30 minute halves here. 2020 Alan Langer Trophy Grand Final. For the year 12s, it's the first time they've played, they've decided the championship with a grand final. And Kibra here with an opportunity to level. That's Blake Moser who's on. In that very familiar pink headgear. Now here it is with Tofeano. Geez, had a good game so far. Lucky he wasn't called for a forward pass as well. So Moza again, and Dave Talia kicks through. And Palm Beach Corumban were there to clean up. It was the winger, Troy Duckett. Again, I like the way the wingers have got back to cover those kicks. We saw in the semi-final, uh, both sides putting little good grubber kicks threatening into the in-goal area. And each time they made sure they got somebody back there to cover it. Both sides. Played there by Jotham Russell. Palm Beach Corumban. Looking to get out of trouble. That was Duckett. And this is Xavier Willison. Gets the offload away to Groot. Oh, strong tackle there by Leighton Borg. Last tackle. Rivet inside the 40. Good kick. Card Pereira. Got a favourable bounce. And accelerates Khan Pereira. And 35 out now for Kiba as they just start to win the battle a little bit, Kiba, in these final five minutes of the first half. Yeah, you can judge it on where you get the ball, where each side hands the ball over. And Kieber at the moment are just starting to play in Palm Beach's end of the park. Winning the territory battle, as I said, we approach well, just over five and a half remaining here. It's Palm Beach Corumban by a converted try. We see now it's Alaparki who's made an impact since he's come on. Last tackle. They'll go high here. Kibra coming through his Buller. Oh, taken nicely there by Michael Roberts. Well done, Roberts. The wingers are doing a, a good role in this game so far. There's quite a few times they've been called on to take some high ball. Uh, penalty here going to Palm Beach Corumban for uh, Moser. Being inside the 10. 
And it is the injured second rower, Kobe Wood, who is coming to the uh, sideline at the moment. Interesting, Drew. Palm Beach have had almost twice as much ball. Big advantage. They've only got two tries to one up. They're looking for another one. They are indeed, yes. And you've got to take your opportunities. And Cam will just get you to give us an update on Kobe Wood when you can. As, as we just heard there, he's come from the field. Here go Palm Beach, Karumba. Bailey Martin. Centre field plays it. And here's Xavier Willison. Takes almost four players to get him to the turf. In the end, well done there in defence was Borg. In that fluoro green headgear. Oscar Bryant to his brother Parker Bryant. Ten metres out from the Kibra try line. Offload away here to Weaver. And a little knock on there. Looking to link up with Daniel Butterini. Right on half time. So you've got to play it right out to the end of this first half. This penalty will help. Indeed it will. Just under two and a quarter minutes remaining in this first half. And Keeper should get a crack at Palm Beach Corumban with a nice touch finder there. Beauty. Now there's Cleese Haas there, the number four. They look to get him more involved. Haas, the, the fourth of ten Haas children, David Wright. Brother of Payne Haas, of course. Wow. And they're big, a couple of big boys too, so you'd want to be early to the table. <laughs> Here's Topayano. Herman Topayano, what a season he's had. Takani just opts to go to Jake Parker on that occasion. And Kibra with a couple of tackles up their sleeve. They're due to open up their back line, Kibra. Each time they've been down here, they've kept it tight recently. That's Alapaki. And here it is with Gun James out the back to Carney. And well taken there by Dave Talia. Beautiful under pressure. He had to juggle and get it. Last tackle, Connor Takani. Crossfield high kick looking for Buller, who taps it back. Scooping around the back was that Khan Pereira. He might have knocked on. In any case, it's Roberts for Palm Beach Corumban, who's taken over the sideline. He decided to knock it back, and they couldn't go on with it. 30 seconds up to half time. 10 4 the score. Palm Beach Corumban over Keeper Park. Here's Bryant. It's Parker Bryant, wrapped up by Moza and also Alaparki. Here's Martin. Tofayano there in the tackle as well as Gun James. And they spread it here. Palm Beach Corumban Weaver. Oh, we had Jalen De Groot. The fullback coming through. And Parker from dummy half as the siren sounds. And Xavier Willison will be wrapped up in what has been a highly entertaining half of football day. Right, uh, good Let's hope we don't repeat that in the second half. Thankfully, there are only one try. One try. Congratulations, there are only one try down. All right, we've got to get back in there, Ryan Phillips. We've given them too much football. And it's just silly stuff. A couple of out on the falls, penalty down there on the edge, they get on cut out passes. They got so much time on the ball. You guys are burning so much petrol by giving them the errors. Right? We're better than this. You don't get to go to grand finals very often and you're standing here, right? Trying to come up with mir miraculous plays when we don't have to. Right? We've got the plays in the bag when we need to get to our position. We need to be at that end of the football field. And then we set for ourselves, but we're going to do the hard grind. A couple of times there, I saw the grind coming back. All right, but we're still making fundamental errors that we don't need to. It's not on, a little bit more safety, all right? Field position. All right, very, very important. Mr. Norman? Hey, boys, we're down by one try and we had a shock up. How good's that? Okay, the defence on the line after those first three tries was amazing. So take heaps of confidence out of that. They don't look like scoring in that last 15 minutes and we gave them a million chances. On the contrast, when we get down there, our one set where we actually start the ball where we want to do it, we score without being touched. So we're going to score points. We scored three tries in five minutes against these guys the last time we played them. So points aren't our issue. Let's just make sure that we earn the right to play our sexy moves down that end of the field. And that's by doing the hard work and completing our sets to get up here. 
okay? So if it's second tackle and that pass is maybe on, take the hit up, take the tackle. We punch one more and we go off the back of that, okay? Don't forget when we get to that 40, Tavali, anchor the short side, because that's the easy try. Wherever we can take the easy try, that's the perfect option, okay? But the main thing that we spoke about is our defense and our composure. Going for three, Alan Langer titles in a row. We're underway here in the second half. Ryan Rivett with a short kickoff and Keeper allowed to bounce. And Palm Beach Corumbin have come up with it through Brock Priestley. How many times have we seen that today? Oh, unbelievable. What were Keeper thinking? You've got to take the ball on the full. Great chance for Palm Beach. Here's Parker Bryant. Just before the line, fellas. 12, that in. Dummy half, his brother Oscar. And Rivett goes to Willison. And in the tackle, Talia Haas and also Gunn James as we've got our first penalty of the second half. So Tom Weaver here to add two points to the tally for Palm Beach Corumba and he does exactly that. Greens, I tell you what, the moment that penalty was awarded, I've never seen a trainer run so fast from the Palm Beach Corumba bench to get the message out for two points. Of course, the winner of the Alan Langer Trophy will take on the winner of the Aaron Payne Cup, which was the Kerwin Bears today, getting the win over 38 points to 10 over Ignatius Park. And of course, the uh, the two sides, the one that wins today and Kerwin, will take on each other for the Phil Hall Cup next week. Yes, thank you, Cam. Cam Stella, the community content producer at the QRL. And talking about that match there that will be played in Townsville next week. But for now, Alan Langer Trophy titles. Bragging rights on the line. Here's Willison for Palm Beach Corumba. And, of course, the winner today becomes the most successful side in Alan Langer Trophy history with both these sides having won eight titles. High kick there on the last by Rivet. Taken by Khan Pereira, and Khan Pereira does well, who's eventually wrapped up by Dion Mariner. Here's Cleese Haas. And Haas, now they'll, they'll want to get him more involved, David Wright. He has been one of their standouts this campaign. Yeah, they've got to get down the other end of the park and get a bit of attack ball and get those good fringe runners bursting onto it. So Moses still playing dummy half. Four keeper park. Here's their captain, Trey Penny. A winger captain. That's unheard of, isn't it? Last time that happened, Warren Boland was captain of West uh, in uh, <laughs> West Magpies in Sydney. Here's Gun James. Of course, the great Warren Boland. I hear you do a bit of work with him, righty, as it's last now. Dave Talia puts it up high. And there, safely at the back, was Palm Beach Corumba winger Troy Duckett. Haas and also Borg in the tackle. So, since that two-point conversion, we're just seeing both sides get into the grind now. Yeah, a bit of an arm wrestle. bit of an arm wrestle indeed. Standing 12. Making it here. 13. Hold. Go. 3. Palm Beach Corumban through Rivet. And there's the back rower in Brock Priestley who plays it. They go the short side here and Rivet kicks into space as Penny, the skipper for Kebra. Back to field this one inside his own 10. 15 out, centre field. It's almost who blinks first here, isn't it? Both sides just trying to be ultra careful, get through their set of six, kick it down the other end. They've been successful at it. But whoever blinks first can pay the price. Khan Pereira wrapped up by Butterini and Willison. And here's Levi Jones. Using their wingers to try and ruck it out as well. All hands to the pumps. Well, if there's one thing we do know, it's that Kibra can score points. Most attacking side in terms of points scored in the competition in season 2020. So last tackle here, and there's the kick by Connor Takani, and it's a good one, although not allowed to find touch there by Caleb Jackson, who was absolutely poleaxed by the Kibra defenders. Jake Parker and co, and here's De Groot. And we really are seeing an arm wrestle here now. Duckett from dummy half. Tries to evade Moser, can't do so. 
Less than 25 minutes remaining. Willison. Been played like a real grand final. I like this style now. There's nothing fancy. They're trying to work their way up at the other end of the park. Here's Butterini. Last tackle. Weaver goes high. Numbers back for Kibra. And taken there at the back by Levi Jones, who did well to stay in the field of play. One hand pick up by Khan Pereira. Second tackle, only a few metres out from their line here, Kibra. Stand now! Making it here. He's going forward. It'll be played by Penny. And here's Gun James. Fourth tackle already. They're only on the 20. And here's Matalavia Booth with the offload away to Moser. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Matalavia Booth today, David Wright. He's the biggest front rower in the competition. Here's Talia on the last. Take it on the field, on the full rather, by De Groot. Yeah, right through that matter, uh, Talia Booth. He, uh, Lavia Booth hasn't uh, done a lot, but that was a beautiful ball, that one. A one-handed, perfect front rowers play. As both sides start to tire a little bit, more opportunities for those short passes. Indeed, here's Mariner for PBC. They've got the cattle, Kibra. We spoke about Haas. Matt Lavia Booth is another one they want to get involved. So Palm Beach, Kurumban, a little juggle there, but taken. And I believe it's Rivet. Yes, it's the last tackle now. So Bryant from dummy half. Kicks. Bouncing ball. Will it hold up? Attack ball starting on your first tackle. So eight points the margin. 12 plays four. Oh, good kick. And this will be Parker Bryant who had to go back to his own 40. So not a bad result for Keeper, all things considered. De Groot. Wrapped up there by Borg and also Mata Lavia Booth. Rivet. Martin. So Palm Beach, Corumban on the attack. Rivet, Weaver. Weaver running to the line. De Groot finds a 17 in Ryan Foran, who's on. Last tackle. Weaver aiming for the goalpost, bouncing ball and coming through. There was Brock Priestley, I think. There was a keeper hand on it. So another line dropout. And this time, Palm Beach Corumban in better field position. And uh, kept alive here. Here's De Groot, Jalen De Groot. Keeping it alive. Punishing tackle. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble here. We hope to get an update on him at some stage. So Palm Beach, Corumban, through Parker Bryant as the game resumes. 12-4 the score here. Alan Langer Trophy 2020 Grand Final. Weaver with the dummy. Tackled by Dave Talia. As they now go the other way and straighten through Butterini. Quick play the ball. Bryant to his brother, Rivet. Reef Somerville offload away, intercepted there by Jones. Well, a round of applause there for Kebra Park. They've been defending there for probably about at least three sets almost in a row. To defend your line there, Palm Beach put a play on out wide. They had man on man. Good work too. I think it was Bueller who came up to initially make a good uh, tackle the uh, left centre. Well done by Kebra. Now you've got to get it a long way out of here. You've done the hard work to defend your line. You've got to flip it around and do some down the other end. Some play. Sideline Cam Stallard. Yeah, Drury, just to update you. Kobe Wood, I think his night is over. He's got an ice pack on his head. So, uh, of course, the sports trainers would be taking the necessary precautions with that head injury. But this is a good old-fashioned arm wrestle at the moment as the ball is turned over. It's uh, the first error actually come about. I was about to say that Burt and either side have made an error in this second half until Kiba Park turned over the possession just then. 
Daniel Butterini it was with the one-on-one -on -one strip. And it's all Palm Beach Corumban here as Rivet. They're looking to really inflict some pain here on their Gold Coast rivals. 12-4 the score. Weaver goes to Martin. It was Rivet rather going to Martin. And Martin very slow to play the ball. Here's Weaver now. Shapes to pass, kicks, and again, they'll get a repeat set of six. Now, do they go for the short drop out here, Ryan? No, I don't think so. I think at eight points down, you've got to keep punching them down there. So the drop out, they do go long. And here's Cullen, like a steam train. Legs pumping. Good post contact meters, too. Absolutely. Played by Jack Cullen. Here's Oscar Bryant, who finds Bailey Mark. Well, how many times have they been tackled in their opposition 20 today? Palm Beach, Corumban. Oh. And there's a hospital pass, if ever you've seen one. And, well, Kibra have somehow managed to hang on yet again. And we have to applaud their defence, David, right? Surely. That was a fantastic front-on tackle that dislodged possession. And they've done well to strike back straight away. That's what you've got to do. You can't sit back on your heels. So that was Trey Penny, and now Herman Tofeano, who's back on the field, up to the 40. You get a lot of confidence from this, Kibra. Haven't been up this end for a while. Talia shows and goes, wrapped up by Palm Beach Corumban defence in Butterini. And there's Adamson from Hooker. We haven't seen a lot of him yet. Tofeano. Dave Talia couldn't hang on to it. And scooped up here by Palm Beach Corumban. It's Tom Weaver who steps inside and he's still going as he centers. Eventually tackled by Buller from Kibra Park. He had some speed men chasing him down because he's no slouch Weaver. They go to the right here, Rivet. They've got some numbers here. It's with Reef Somerville. And Somerville's through as he slices through the Kibra defense. And Reef Somerville scores a very important try for Palm Beach Corumban. He had about three speed men chasing him, none the least, uh, Bueller. And then they moved it straight to the right inside. They knew they had them uh, skinny. And then again, good work there by uh, Reef Somerville. Held it out in two hands for a couple of moments to decide whether he was going to pass or run. So Tom Weaver to make it beyond two converted tries. And he misses. And then they went on the job. They picked the opportunity on that right hand side. Knew they were thin there as you called to Drury. And they come up with the points. So long kick off here. A huge shot there on Xavier Willison. Tofeano along with Gun James for Kibra Park. So 16-4 the score here. And sideline camp. Stallard, I believe you've got an update for us. Yeah, after that try was scored, Dave Talia come to the sideline and ripped his strapping off. So Glenn Campbell might have uh, taken the halfback off after that unforced error. So I think his night is done as well as he ripped the tape off as he made his way to the bench. So perhaps a reshovel in the halves for Kibra Park. Yeah, I'll well, need it because Talia was one of the better players last week. He hasn't had a dominant uh, game tonight. So a knock on here and they'll get a fresh set here. Palm Beach, Karamba. <laughs> knock on again. Was the advantage over? Well, it was a play the ball, so it's got to be over, I'd say. So let off there for Keeper. That was a big let off. And they, sorry, Drew, they needed a two, didn't they? Two tries now in it. As you say, the, the, Keeper is still in this game. And we go extra time, I think, if we get a uh, draw at full time. We certainly do. And it is a continuous clock at this level, but we do stop the clock in the final five minutes if required. As we approach the final ten, the first ever Alalanga Trophy Grand Final, defending champions Palm Beach, Corumban leading Kibra, 16-4. The two biggest schoolboy rivals in, you could say, Australian Rugby League. Well, the winner goes on to play the Queensland final, then the national final, so these are the best. Played there by Tofayano as they come now to Takani for the kick on the last. And 
to Groot. Happy to retreat there, wrapped up by Buller. Just enough time to take that ball cleanly before the uh, chasers got there. Two converted tries is required. That's the task ahead for Keeper Park. We know they're capable. Interesting to see who they have put in there at 5'8 to replace uh, Talia to pick it up. Palm Beach Grumman spreading it here. Marino it is, just coming in field. So last tackle. Weaver goes high again. And well taken. And this time it was the lock forward, Jotham Russell. We've got a penalty going the way of Keeper. Certainly in the second half, if not the whole game, they're going to put on a set of six in attack territory. So here they go, Keeper Park. Jake Parker. Keeper, Moser, through the hands. Good tackle by Palm Beach Karumba to force the error. With just well, seven and a quarter minutes remaining to lead by 12 with possession on halfway. Yeah, he wouldn't be breathing easy yet, but he'd be very happy with the situation. And they're in possession as well. De Groot makes a break. Is it De Groot? And Keeper, Park coach Glenn Campbell continues to make the changes here. Looks like number 18, Lockie West coming on. We'll see if maybe Cam can tell us what the reshuffle is in the halves for Kebra. Cam? Yeah, Drury, it looks as if Blake Moses has gone into 5'8", uh, as the Lachlan Adamson come back on the field. So I think it is Moser in the, the number 14 jersey. He's playing six at the moment. Thank you, Cam Stellard. Yes, Moser in the pink headgear. So here go Palm Beach, Karumba, and a try here. Might be enough to seal it. Here's Willison. Quick play the ball. Trouble for Kebra. Weaver steps off the left foot. Wrapped up by Cleese Haas. Last tackle. Here's Bryant. Oscar Bryant with a little kick. It's a tricky kick too. It's a low ball. It's bouncing everywhere. And we might have seen a knock on here from Kebra constituting a line dropout. They go long. Or maybe they go for the sideline, but in any case, taken there by the number two in Michael Roberts. Rivet. Cullen. A try here for Palm Beach. Corumban will seal it, surely. The defending champions, Rivet. Willison. Still going, Willison. Only a metre away from the try line. Bryant, short pass and spilt there by Brock Priestley, was forward, it? Forward, I think. I think he's called it forward from the dummy half. Well, Kibra, two tries they need in five minutes. Big ask. Well, it's now or never, as you just alluded to. Here's the man that's just come on in Lockie West. Haas with it now. Cleese Haas, who is certainly one of their best players in the semi-final victory last week over Wavell. Now's the time to start throwing it around too. It's all very well to be picking up 10 metres of ruck, but uh, if you've got to get two tries in five or four minutes, you've got to do more than that. Matt Lavia Booth. Close to halfway. And there's a penalty, so this will make it interesting. They score here, David Wright, and it's game on. Yeah, the door's ajar. It's up to Keeper to kick it down. So quick tap and go, and that's a little bit of urgency now we're starting to see. Jareen Buller. As Adamson playing a bit of first receiver there, it seems. Inside pass to his front row forward. Matalavia Booth, and now here's Tofayano. Adamson holds it up nicely, they're over. Tyrone Gun James, and that is just what the doctor ordered for Kebra Park. But he'd be pretty happy with that. Let's have another look at it. 
straight off the dummy half. Good work there by uh, Adamson to take a couple of paces. He's done a Cameron Smith. A couple of little paces out of the dummy half position. He's missed the kick. Well, that's on Connor Takani like We've been watching him nail it from the sideline all season. All you think of, they, they could have been rushing, knowing they had to get back quickly. Didn't take enough time. Sideline Cam Stellard. Yeah, the crowd just went silent, or half the crowd anyway, when Connor Takani uh, missed that conversion. I, I understand that sides, you know, you, time's against you. You've got to rush the kick, but it's it's got to be a guarantee that you put it over the black dot. And sadly for Kibra Park, it wasn't to be. Well, Kibra with less than... Well, just over a minute and a half remaining, rather, in this one. Here's Haas. Up to the 40. And it remains a two-try game. Madalavia Booth. Huge run from Isaac Madalavia Booth. And yes, wraps to Lachlan Adamson with that last try. Here they go through the hands to Carney. Finds Khan Pereira. Last tackle. They must score here to have any chance, Keeper Park. Through the hands. They get to their kick finally. There'll be a contest here. But taken by Mariner. And it'll be a penalty to Palm Beach Corumban. Yeah, poorly executed last kick there by uh, Kibra. Players were in front of him already. That's just, you know, it's attention to detail makes the difference, especially in the big ones. And that conversion attempt, just going back to that, I mean, what we've seen from him all season, I mean, he's usually a reliable goal kicker. Normally spot on. And, uh, yeah, just... He's, a, been, he's been arguably the best goal kicker all 2020 season. All you can think of is he thought he had to do it within a short period of time to give maximum chance. They've missed their opportunity. You couldn't get an eight-point try now, could we? <laughs> Uh, Connor Takani has had a stellar season with the boots. Very unlike him, but that's what big games can do. Here's Willison. Just hang on to the ball, Palm Beach. It's all over. You just take a tap here and walk up and take the uh, tackle. Well, there's a penalty to Palm Beach, Corumban. Tap and walk. And the siren has gone. Don't take two, fellas. You don't need to. <laughs> As they kick it out. And that's all over. The 2020 Alan Langer Trophy goes to Palm Beach Corumban, who have become the most successful school in Alan Langer Trophy history with their first three-peat. Palm Beach Corumban undefeated this year. Deserving winners in the uh, Alan Langer uh, Trophy. They had one draw against uh, Wavell High. They've been a very dominant side. Had a big win last week, scored six tries. This was a lot tighter. Kibra were not disgraced. They perhaps didn't play uh, the football that we've seen they can, but they weren't allowed to a lot of ways because of the domination of Palm Beach. I like the way they dominated territory. They used the ball in the uh, second in the second half in particular to pin Kibra back inside their own territory. Must have been at least three, maybe four goal line dropouts. That's just good finals pressure football. You just build that pressure and take your chances. Ironically, the try they got was from a drop ball by Kibra when Weaver picked it up, ran 50 metres, and then again they were good enough to move the ruck around, go down that right-hand side, extend their lead out to 16-4. Somehow got it back through Gun James to 16-8, kick beside the post, and he misses it with a couple of minutes to go. So Palm Beach Corumban, they claim their historic ninth Alan Langer Trophy in the first ever grand final in the Alan Langer Trophy. 16 points to eight over Kibra Park. Tries to Reef Somerville, Troy Duckett and Daniel Butterini. Tom Weaver with two goals. Kibra Park tries to Tyrone Gunn, James and their captain, Trey Penny. 16 to eight, the final score in one of the biggest rivalries in Australian schoolboy school rugby league. Here's Cam Stellard. Thanks, Drury. I'm with the winning halfback for Palm Beach Crum and Tom Weaver. Uh, Tom, it was a grinding match. 10-4 uh, at half time, and you had to get in the arm wrestle uh, with not many points off in the second half. How did you see it? 
Um, yeah, we always came in, you and Kiba Park would um, really stick it to us and we knew we had to really start well in the first 10. And um, our coach really put it to us and said he's, he's got to be up for the challenge here today because they're going to be up for it after the last time we versed them. But um, no, the credit to the boys, they stuck in. We really dug deep in the first half and we got the rewards in the end. It's been a tough season for you with uh, COVID-19, no doubt, getting through a pre-season and then having to be stopped. But it was good to see you play out a short and Alan Langer Trophy season and you've remained undefeated. Yeah, no, it's been great. It's been great. It was a bit of a bummer at the start of the year getting um, cancelled because of COVID. We put in a lot of effort at the start, but um, it's good to get the rewards now that we came back in after COVID and we really got stuck back in and we came away with the wind in the end. And a couple of players stood up as well with a number of injuries from the season. Obviously, to your captain, Damon Somerville, early on in the Alan Langer Trophy. And Xavier Savage as well had to succumb to injury um, in that uh, last round match before the final. So it's good to see a couple of other players. And I know you've got a couple of year 11s in your side as well. It must be refreshing to see them uh, playing well and getting the opportunity and really relishing that opportunity. Yeah, no, it's been great um, having our captain, Damo, injured in the second round, I think it was. Um, us boys, we really had to step up. Um, he's a great player for us and he's a big leader at our school. Um, yeah, I think we had about eight year 11ers that can come back again and play next year. And then I think we even had a year 10 up, Michael Roberts playing on the wing. So, no, nah, it's been great. All the boys really stood up to the challenge and um, it's been really good, really uh, impressed. Well, mate, congratulations on the win and congratulations on the undefeated title that you've had at this year's Alan Langer Trophy. Go and celebrate with the boys. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you, Cam. Yes. A very, very happy and excited Tom Weaver, who has been a standout for Palm Beach Corumbin all season. The little halfback running it to the line, kicking goals, setting up tries, scoring them himself. And congratulations to Palm Beach Corumbin, who become the most successful side in Alan Langer Trophy history. Once again, the scoreline 16-8, victorious over Kebra Park State High School, who themselves had a wonderful season. You know, certainly fitting of a uh, Alan Langer Cup or an Alan Langer Trade in the Grand Final. So, this last is to be a favourite of this place. You know, it's a uh, huge congratulations to the Ripper. Uh, the Palm Beach has done a fantastic job of fighting great for the year. And tonight was no different. Uh, special mention tonight for uh, the referees. So, Dan Dan has done a great job over the course of the competition for us. Uh, certainly been a pleasure to get out of the night. It's been a uh, Challenging period for the ones who are making the living in the Rivers Association. So, uh, great congratulations to those guys who have done a fantastic job. To uh, all our sports fans who have uh, come each week to uh, make sure the players leave the venues as, uh, in as good a condition as they can. Very appreciative of that. And uh, last but not least, uh, to our uh, Coordinator, Mr. Phil Hall, does a fantastic job each and every year, and certainly on behalf of the Broncos, Phil, we appreciate everything you do for School Board Rugby League. You've been doing this for over 20 years. You're a legend of School Board's game. Did somebody say KFC? It must have been.